The man next in line to lead American troops stationed in Korea says the U.S. needs to continue providing a nuclear umbrella to South Korea. He also rejected claims made by the Republican frontrunner in the race for the White House, saying Donald Trump has got his math wrong on a very important issue. Our Kim Hyun-bin has more on remarks made by General Vincent Brooks. The incoming commander of U.S. Forces Korea has stressed the importance of South Korea being covered by the U.S. nuclear umbrella. Speaking at his Senate confirmation hearing in Washington on Tuesday, General Vincent Brooks said his removal could make Seoul contemplate its own nuclear armament in the face of threats posed by North Korea. He added that he could not see a time in the foreseeable future when the U.S. could or would remove it. The general also stressed that South Korea is shouldering a significant load of the cost for keeping the roughly 29,000 U.S. troops stationed in the country. He rejected Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump's claims that Seoul contributes next to nothing compared to what it gets in return. Brooks noted that South Korea paid some 880 million U.S. dollars last year, and the share goes up according to inflation every year. As well as paying around half of the total cost of stationing troops, the general says South Korea is paying more than 90 percent of the $10.8 billion to relocate U.S. troops to a massive new base in Pyeongtaek, south of Seoul. In a written testimony, Brooks said that the North's leader, Kim Jong-un, is more risk-tolerant, arrogant, and impulsive than his father, Kim Jong-il, raising the prospect of miscalculation. Brooks said the young leader is more aggressive with advancing the regime's nuclear program and ignoring international concerns, and added that his father was more willing to offer negotiations. Brooks also emphasized the need for a U.S. missile defense system known as THAAD to be deployed to the Korean Peninsula to protect the South from North Korea's growing ballistic missile threats. If confirmed, Brooks would replace General Curtis Scaparati as U.S. Forces Korea commander. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.